getting that too. Um, uh, what do we have here, man? Um, let's see what we have here. Back to Dallas, man. You got a lot of uh, noise in the background. Meet yourself, whoever that is. Court records provide more details about a string of shootings all related this weekend in Dallas. 19-year-old Donovan Jones was killed in the Redbird area of Dallas Friday night. And according to court documents, it started with an argument involving two other men. The next day, while at a candlelight vigil for her son, Jones's mother was hit in a drive-by shooting. And she described... <laughs> I mean, God, dog. <sighs> I mean... Jesus Christ. It's enough data, man. That's the one I mentioned last night, but uh, now we have the video. There's enough data. There's enough data. I'm convinced. Hit one if you're convinced. If, if it, hit, one, hit one if you're convinced. Hit two if you still need um, more convincing. Six inches is nuts. One if you're convinced. Two if you need more convincing. Because this is, this is, I mean, like, and if you need more convincing, man, please hit that link, man. Link is in the description box, man. Link is in the description box. If, yeah, if you're not trolling and you hit, and you, and you still need more convincing, please come tell us, man. Because, I mean, I'm curious, man. Who, who's, who still needs more convincing? Started with an argument involving two other men. The next day, while at a candlelight vigil for her son, Jones's mother was hit in a drive-by shooting, and she describes the pain that she's endured the past few days. To Fox Sports, Peyton Yeager, who joins us now live from Dallas, Peyton. Donovan Jones's mother was just released from the hospital yesterday. This afternoon, she met up with us at the same spot where she was shot and where police say her son was shot and killed. Also today, court documents reveal. She met up with y'all at the same spot where she was shot and her son was shot and killed. That's a strong woman, man. Only a sister can do that, man. Most people, would they could never go back to that spot ever like if you drove them down by that spot on accident they fucking have convulsions and start fucking twitching and shit what led up to this violent weekend yeah i feel lost feel helpless a dallas mother is mourning the loss of her 19 year old son donovan jones but also fearing for her life after she was shot while trying to honor him at a vigil one day after police say the teen was murdered. She didn't want to show her face or share her name. And I miss him. Why don't she want to share her face or show her name, man? Is it because of the Klan? Is it because of the Proud Boys? I mean, maybe I got to, um, because certainly uh, she's not hiding from other black people. She's not scared to show her face because of other black people. Got to be queuing on. QAnon, yeah. And I'm so sorry, Jennifer. I'm so sorry, baby. Dallas police say Jones was killed outside the discount food mart off Westmoreland Road Friday after he somehow was caught up in an argument between two other men. According to an arrest warrant affidavit Fox 4 obtained on Monday, 20-year-old Cameron Cooks shot 23-year-old Ja'Cory Simpson multiple times with an AR-15 rifle. Was it an AR-15 rifle or was it an AR-15 pistol? Because there is a difference, and the newscasters probably don't know anything yeah, about Yeah, they it. don't know, they don't know, they don't know. Yeah, they, they just still, know what it's going to go. It's still, it's still, like, still the same thing. It, it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck. So, yeah, um... And on Monday, 20-year-old Cameron Cooks shot 23-year-old Ja'Cory Simpson multiple times with an AR-15 rifle. Witnesses told police Cooks took off in a vehicle. Security footage turned over to police shows Simpson, while he was injured, running around the front of the store and firing a handgun, striking Jones in the head. Jones's mother says her son was talking to his grandmother when he was fatally shot. I just want to know why did you shoot my son? Why did you shoot my baby? 
It's still unclear if Jones was targeted or simply hit by mistake. Dallas police found Simpson inside a restaurant next door with multiple gunshot wounds. Simpson was taken to a hospital in critical condition and is set to be charged with murder once released. Cook surrendered to officers when they arrived at his DeSoto home shortly after the shooting. Cooks told detectives Simpson, quote, disrespected him, and so he shot Simpson with an AR-15. Police also say during Friday's shooting, a stray bullet entered an apartment across the street and nearly hit a 12-year-old boy sitting on... <laughs> Thank God that that 12-year-old boy didn't get hit, man, across the street. This story couldn't be more <laughs> sun if you wrote it uh, as a short story. Right. No doubt. I mean, like, literally, this is this. This is, well, the one of the club in Mobile where the two, the hitman, the guy had the hitman, he went and shot the wrong guy, then he had another hitman, and he went and shot the wrong four people. <laughs> that that one was pretty bad, the the Mobile Club one. But this is this is a very 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 sunny story, man. Jesus. Next door with multiple gunshot wounds, Simpson was taken to a hospital in critical condition and is set to be charged with murder once released. Cook surrendered to officers when they arrived at his DeSoto home shortly after the shooting. Cooks told detectives Simpson, quote, disrespected him, and so he shot Simpson with an AR-15. Police also say during Friday's shooting, a stray bullet entered an apartment across the street and nearly hit a 12-year-old boy sitting on the couch. The family who lives in the apartment shared these photos of the shattered glass with Fox 4 on Monday. But the gun violence at the Redbird intersection continued through the weekend. Donovan's mother says she organized a candlelight vigil for her son Saturday evening outside the same convenience store. She says 20 minutes in, they were targeted. People are getting shot, running everywhere. I got shot twice in the back. It was so... <laughs> she got to just slip that in there. This is how she slips that in there. These people, live, these people are different. How long ago was she shot in the back? This is the other day. This is a couple days ago. This is the weekend. This was Saturday. It's Monday. She's standing right there. She's look. I mean, she she she's already she's a son with sister man. She she take a look and keep on ticking, man. If you take a shot in the back, it's it's a big deal. I would not, think. Not to her, man. Sin, they were targeted. <laughs> People are getting shot, running everywhere. I got shot twice in the back. It was so, it was so much blood all over that store. Dallas police say someone from inside a white Chrysler opened fire on the crowd, spurring people in the crowd to shoot back. Four people were shot, including Donovan's mother, all survived. Donovan's mother also tells Fox 4 the 19-year-old and his girlfriend were expecting a child in August. A child Donovan will never get to meet. Protect y'all kids. Put these guns down. Dallas police okay. have not exactly. announced any Exactly. Sunny arrests. story again. <laughs> the... Uh, the crowd was shot upon and then they returned fire. Tell yep. me that's not sunny. Nobody died. Four people hit, nobody died. And the the end of the, the last statement is put the guns down. Um, yeah, it's a very, very sunny story. Um, golly, man, that's a, that was a sunny story. Oh, wow. Nobody said smash on the report. Oh, that's a, that's a little... Well, we've seen her. We, we, and, we've seen her. We've seen her a thousand times. Yeah, Peyton. Yeah, yeah. she's the she's, gag she's a, in Yokes, uh, Ohio, so. then transported by at least two offenders back to a home in the vicinity of where the crime scenes were. Now it's six, four men bound, gagged, and shot in Summit County. Amazing.